Hello everyone, if you are preparing for your CSA certification, this is a go-to video for you. Here we will refer to important questions which is important for your CSA preparation and I will dig into few of the questions. So I will navigate for you into the instance and show you what this answer means and why this answer is correct so you can get this PDF from the description below let's take this question for example when using the load data and transform map process what is the mapping assist used for answer mapping fields using a field map let's go to our instance and see what it means if you are preparing for your CSA exam definitely you will prepare for your interview you should know in the instance how to navigate to different modules let's get started and see what this question and answer means the question is related to mapping and loading data so under load data I am creating a table EMDB Windows Server Data. Okay, and dummy here. Source of the import I have a file, so let's go and select your data file. You can see once we import the data it is showing that uh, okay data is created input is done create transform map so let's go so table transform map name is dummy data table and the data there is related to windows server so cmdb ci underscore win underscore server this is a table my target table where this data needs to be imported to see done and now you can see so you have two options auto map matching fields or mapping assist since the question is related to mapping assist we clicked on mapping assist mapping fields into the field map this is your field map asset tag will be equal to asset tag name will match with this name so now you understand what do they mean so you have particular field name in your data and you want this field name to be mapped in your target windows server so that you know that appropriate data is going to the particular field where you want it to go cpu count will go to cpu count so where will this be more important so you can see here it is showing sr number so normally name name asset tag asset tag will be mapped if you use automatic mapping assist also okay but fields like sr number instead of serial number it is given needs to be checked if they are properly mapped so here this is how it will help you you know that this particular field means this so you have to map it like this. serial number like example manufacturer it's the short form mfg the system needs to know that this particular record corresponds to actually this field so this is how you do the mapping so now you know that mapping assist used for mapping the fields using a field map
perfect so now let's go to some other question where we can dig into and see what it means what is the answer let's look into this question in what order should filter elements be specified very simple filter elements let's go to sys underscore user table and you need to add filter so this is what it means so when you're adding filter you will choose the field then the operator and then the value let's pick other question like which of the following are the type of client scripts supported in ServiceNow? Let's go to client script. Under system definition, client script. You can see here on cell edit, on change, on load, on submit. Next, this is my favorite question. So, which one of the following is not a type of visual task board? Let's go to visual task board. And here you can see we have one board guided board, freeform board, and data driven board. In the options, you have freeform, guided, correct. Data driven board means flexible board. So, number three, feature is not a type of visual task board. So, now let's look another question. When searching using the app navigator search field, what can be returned? Very simple yet complicated question because the options are such that you have to think twice. So, let's go and confirm that when we are in the app navigator we can see the apps the modules and if you mark something as your favorite you can definitely see your favorites here but what you cannot see is history so now you got your answers why we have chosen favorites so let's move to the next question okay this one which of the following can be customized through basic configuration UI 16 module? These are very confusing questions. If you just have a look once, you will always remember. So, let's go to basic configuration UI 16. And here you can see we have page header, browse tab title, time zone, date format, time format banner text color header background navigation header footer navigation background expanded items module text color border color base theme so these are the common ones that you see here so all the color patterns are here if you have to learn it like that theme was here banner text time format date format time zone and browser tab title so banner image yes banner browser tab title yes system date format yes form header size i did not see anything related to size there record number format no okay there is date and time format no record format And there is nothing related to size here. Let's move to next question. What module in the service catalog application does the administrator access to begin creating a new item? So let me show you. It is create a new catalog item. It's maintain items okay 
So next question, which of the following allows a user to edit field values in a list without opening the form? So if you're not opening the form and we want to edit something in any table, suppose user table, you can edit it by clicking on the list view. So we can use list editor. This is called list editor. And this was your option. Next question. Which three variable types can be added to a service catalog item? Three variable types. They are all variable types. But for service catalog item, you have to remember. So let's go to just see maintain items. We go for service catalog. So let's go there, let's select any, scroll down under variables, you will see the types here. So these are the types available for variable. So we have our select box, single text line. So select box, yes. We have yes, no, check box. We have check box. Correct. Let's see multiple choice. We have multiple choice, multi line text. So, to make it easier for you, let me say a few things like yes, no is there, true and false is not there. So, in that case, true and false, true and false, A, B, both are wrong. Done. Number three, there is nothing called number list. So, this is done nothing called number list it's numeric scale not number list so one two three all are wrong so next question which section of the service now ui allows you to perform a global search so it is not asking about modules and application first so application navigator will not be the answer list pane content pane i there is nothing like that so in the banner you can see here you have global search so your answer will be in the using the banner frame we can do the global search we can perform global search so let's see another question what is the primary application used to load data into service now so when we were importing data we have seen that we load data into the system using load data module under the system import set application this is what they have asked for application name which is used to load the data this is another very simple question but very confusing what icon do you use to change the label on a favorite this is one of the common question that is asked so what icon is used to label favorites so you can see when you have to label your favorites so to change label on your favorite you click on the pencil icon edit your favorites and here you can change the name of your favorites and then save let's look into another common and confusing question that is what needs to be specified when creating a business rule choose four so let's go to business rule And let's see what all things match our options. So we have to choose four. Table fields to update. Of course, table name we have to give. Which field you need to update? You have to mention. 
who can run sorry it's when to run not who can run so confusing option script to run there is nothing called script to run it's options it is under the advanced section so it is not an option to be chosen application scope no update set so ui update set application scope these three will definitely not come timing and condition to evaluate yes we give timing here so before after and conditions we give our filter conditions here so i hope this was more insightful and helpful to deal with this kind of question so this will be our last question for this video which of the following steps can be used to import new data to service now from a spreadsheet what was this step if you remember we started with load data so definitely these cannot be the answers so we started with load data then we created the transform map and the last that we have not done there was run transform map so we start with load data then we create the transform map and then lastly we run transform so these are your steps so this is all about this video there are many such questions if you want help in a specific question you can comment below and if you want this pdf to prepare for your csa exam you can click on the link given in the description all the best